All right, so next up, we're going to just take a look at the lungs with the curvilinear transducer. Sometimes in a clinical environment, I like this because it just shows me more territory more efficiently. Uh, we're still going to start roughly the same place, maybe up a little high. And what we want to do when we're examining the lungs for things like pneumothorax or uh, effusions or consolidations. Midclavicular indicators towards the head. We identify ribs and then pleural sliding. And the way I'll examine the lungs is just kind of slowly work my way down and across the front in kind of a lawnmower fashion, some would call it. And the depth is kind of superficial for these anterior fields. So then I'll do the same thing on this side. Again, start up high, identify rib shadows and sliding, and just examine as much of the lungs anteriorly as possible. And looking for things like bee lines or consolidations or anything like that. Then when I want to see the lateral parts of the lungs, I'll increase the depth to like 17, 18, something really deep, and I'm going to come out to your side, so I'm going to pull your arm out. Indicators towards the patient's head, about the mid axillary line. Uh, indicators actually to about one o'clock, one or two o'clock. And what we want to do is find the diaphragm first. So here we can see the spleen, the diaphragm. pointing out that we'll see the spine down here, but it stops at the diaphragm. And as we look into the chest, we no longer see the spine because the air in the lungs shadows it out. And then to examine the lungs in the lateral views, we'll do the same thing where we lawnmower or zigzag our way, making sure we see sliding and rib shadows all the way up into the axilla. And we can pause every once in a while to make sure we're seeing lung sliding because it's pretty easy to get fanned up like something like this and just seeing into like soft tissue or not even looking in the chest or backwards too far where we're not even looking in the chest here, we're just looking at soft tissue. So make sure we're seeing sliding. So on the right side, we kind of do the same thing. We identify the diaphragm here above the liver. And I want to point out the spine here and how it stops at the diaphragm. And then same thing. We look for pleural sliding up top and we examine the lung by fanning or sliding anterior to posterior, making sure we see sliding. There was a singular B line that can happen anywhere. All the way up into the axilla. That's the lung exam.